So I'm not really a man full of stories. In fact, I'm as boring as a salad, but once in a while I do have a banger of a story. And this story, however, isn't necessarily a banger. It's like an atomic bomb being dropped on a very populated city in the 40s. Long story short, I had a random dude kiss my bald head at the bar. So it was a late night. I couldn't tell you the day because I don't even remember. But it was late and my buddy texted me and told me to drive to this bar like 25 minutes away. And I said, sure, why not? I gotta get out of the house. I'm a single man again. Maybe I'll meet some stellar bitches and have drunk sex in the dirty handicapped stall. Spoiler, that's not what happened, but it was still a fun night. So I went to the bar and I picked up my other friend for shits and gigs. We got to the bar and I've never been to this bar prior to this night. I've driven by it many times, but it's a stereotypical biker bar. It smelled like tobacco and dead bodies. And as soon as my friend and I walked in, Everyone just started looking at us as if we were a gay couple in the middle of rural Texas. Like, we got some weird stares from people. We glance around the bar and we end up finding my one friend that texted me to come by. And we slapped him up. Not in a weird way, but we just shook hands and hugged and kissed a little bit on the mouth. He brought me a beer and we just chilled for a bit. I had a couple of twisted teas and we did some shots and it was fun. It was a great night. I'm vibing. And then out of nowhere, I feel someone grab me and then kiss me. Now, you would think that I would be all tough guy Johnny and turn around and fight the random man kissing me, but I didn't. In fact, fighting this dude was never a thought in my mind. I actually thought that it was one of my friends messing with me, but as I go to turn around, I see this random dude that I have never met in my entire life, and I'm like, uh, bro, you know, I'm not some cheap prostitute or anything. What you just did is definitely going to cost you some money. First off, the guy was out of his mind, faded, like he was gone. He was not even on cloud 9, he was on cloud 69. I'm not sure if he was just hella drunk, or perhaps on something more than alcohol, but the dude was gone. His eyes were hopping back and forth, and every time he was done speaking a sentence, he would just stare at me, and it was as if his brain was doing a full Windows reboot or something. The guy told me that he was dared by one of his friends to come over to the other side of the bar and kiss my bald, shiny, sweaty head. And if he did that, then his buddy would buy him a drink. And I thought it was a funny concept, so I said, Oh, okay, cool, man. Ha ha ha. I hope he gets you a drink. Ha ha ha. Why are you still looking at me? And they kept fucking standing behind me for 15 more minutes just looking at me. Like, the dude spent more time looking at me than actually talking. He'll speak, but then he'll stop. The guy was totally on something. I, I didn't have a problem with the guy at all. Like, I'm pretty cool with people as long as they don't get on my nerves or annoy me. And it really takes a lot to annoy the bejesus out of me. Like, this guy was cool. A little bit off, but he was cool. And then he asks me if I want to meet his wife. And the first thing I ask myself is, wait, you have a wife? So he brings his wife over to me, and Jesus hentai Christ, she is faded too. Maybe more functional than her husband, but she was toasted. So I shake her hand, and then I'm asking myself, these people are about to ask me if I want a threesome, aren't they? And to be honest, I had nowhere else to be that night, so I was all prepared to go experiment with this couple, but they ended up leaving. And the rest of the night was pretty solid. I kicked some ass at pool. I won a few victory shots from the people that I played. I was definitely the life of the party that night, or at least I was trying to be. I met a ton of awesome people too. Talked to the bar owner as well, and he was really nice. And this was back in maybe March or April of this year. So I haven't been back to this place since. If I'm being honest, I don't think I've even been to a bar since May of this year. Like, I don't drink a lot or go out to bars all the time. I think I drank more throughout high school and even in, like, the first month of me turning 21 than I have this past year. But I feel like sometime in the not-too-distant future when I get my mouth problems all sorted out, I should go back to this bar and visit and see if the guy and his, his wife are there and, uh... Just, uh, just see what happens. Anyway, like I said, guys, I'm not really good at stories. I'm not a man full of stories. This is one of those moments where you kind of had to have been there to get the full effect of the story. And if you were there, you would have been laughing your ass off. But I hope the story was at least suitable for you guys. I hope it was entertaining in some way. If you guys did enjoy today's video, do me a favor, leave a like. Subscribe to my beautiful YouTube channel. Click the bell icon and follow me on all of my social links, including Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description below. Have a great day, everyone. And remember that kissing strangers without consent is not really okay.